Hi, we're Brave Rival. And this is our Kickstarter campaign. We would love to make a first studio album, but we absolutely can't do it without your help. We want you to come to our gigs, rock out with us, and then we want you to listen to our music on the way home. We want you to share it with your friends. And we can't do that unless we get this album recorded. Please, Please sir. We love talking to you guys after and getting your feedback. And the common thing that people keep saying is, where can we find your music? And we keep saying, you can't. You said that you'd like to invest in us. We would like to invest in us too, in our music. So let's work together to make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> so far what have we done what have we done <laughs> we've turned into children's presenters <laughs> we've also been really lucky throughout this year and we've supported some incredible bands including the billy walton band and stevie nemo which was absolutely amazing opportunity for us we've also played some amazing festivals we've been nominated for breakthrough act 2019 which is amazing because it's amongst so many other bands we were recently featured in raw ramp magazine which is really exciting as one of the top 20 bands to watch in 2020 so keep watching <laughs> talk a little bit about our band. Our bass player, Billy, has been with us from the start. I hear a few fun facts about our Billy. He's an award-winning songwriter. He also was in Albany Down. Some of you may already know that. He also is Australian. He may look like a total metalhead. He's a big guy. He's very hairy. And uh, he is absolutely obsessed with the Bake Off. <laughs> Rock and roll! So here's our Billy to tell you a little bit more about him. When I got the phone call from uh, Donna that uh, she was looking for a bass player to join this band, obviously I played with Donna for many years previously in, in an old band that we are in, and um, I knew that we could lock in together on some great blues and rock songs, and also the fact that we've got two amazing uh, singers, um, and it just really excited me, and I just couldn't wait to get working on, on the band. And also the guitarist, he's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I love about the songwriting is that we, we all chip in together. Um, I might come up with a cool groovy bass line um, and Donna's going to come up with a beat and, and then Ed comes in with a bit of a shred and the girls come up with a lovely melody. It's just a real melting pot of ideas and out of that you get this beautiful expression of music. It really comes alive on stage as well, like that's, that's where we're really, you know, we're really cooking. What I'm really excited about next year is obviously making our debut album. Uh, I think it's going to be an absolutely amazing experience and I'm just really excited to get gigging more um, up and down the country hopefully and um, meeting all you lovely fans. <laughs> And then there's our Donna. She's amazing, she songwrites, she plays. She's got an absolutely massive pair of congas that she brings to some shows sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, she was in Albany Down alongside Billy. She is a major crazy cat lady. She is. She, she'll do a gig and all she wanna do is go into her cats and have a cuddle. <laughs> Something you may not know about our Donna is that she's a multi-instrumentalist. She doesn't just play the drums, she also plays guitar and piano. So. Here's our lovely Donna. I love the fact that it's fronted by two amazing, powerful, strong women, and obviously me on drums. Um, that's quite unique to have two female vocalists fronting a band, especially in the scene. One of my favorite songwriters is Justin Curry from Delamitri. He's amazing, he writes all the parts and epic. Thunder, I love their songwriting too. Led Zeppelin. Originally, we started writing just Chloe, Lindsay and me on guitar, but I wanted to play drums. So it's, it's amazing that we've got a band together now and we can bring those songs to life fully. We're writing some new tracks and the album will be fantastic. <laughs> So being on the blues scene, it's really important to have an excellent guitarist. Well, they couldn't find one, so they've got me instead. Yeah, <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. Hey, wait, wait, wait. 
Big improvement. We search far and wide to try and find the right guitarist, someone that wants to make our sound come to life. And we take our songs and then he just takes it to another level and it's awesome. He's actually the baby of the group, so we've Aww. taken him under our wing. Aww. And he's single, so if there's any lovely women out there... I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, fun fact about Ed is that he's a major Friends fan. Could he be any more of a Friends fan? <laughs> Give it up for our Ed. <laughs> The main thing I love about Brave Rival is the juxtaposition between the elegant soaring harmonies of Chloe and Lindsay and then the rawness of the riffs that the band's playing. My main influence growing up playing guitar was always Slash, both in Guns N' Roses and in solo stuff. Um, and that is kind of an ongoing thing, so there's a little bit of that in pretty much everything I play. But more recently, I've listened to a lot of blues rock, a lot of Blackstone Cherry. And then very recently, we did a string of shows with a guy called Stevie Nimmo, who is an absolutely insane guitarist. Just from watching him play at all the shows and chatting to him backstage, he might actually be one of my biggest influences right now. Really looking forward to working on a new album in 2020 with your guys' support and really looking forward to having a great year. I love Brave Rival because I love these people. Oh. I love Brave Rival because I absolutely love creating new original music with these bunch of friends. <laughs> I'm single, I just desperately need to, I don't even like playing guitar, no. Um. <laughs> if you pledge two pound, we can give you Ed's phone number. Jesus Christ, I'm cheap, Mary. <laughs> I love it, partly because it's for songs that I've had in my head for ages to lie. Also, it's really fun. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun, yeah. I love Brave Rival because I feel like all five of us just contribute what we generally think is the best idea for the song. We all complement each other, and especially mm. Lindsay, to have another singer that is equally got tons of power and mm. soul and passion. Um, I think that's quite rare. We're like a force, yeah. force. And we've got like our warriors behind us. I love standing next to this guy on stage. <laughs> we vibe off each other, don't we? Can we put a little compilation pictures of me and Billy vibing out? There are a lot of pictures. I of want you that. Of you roaring at his guitar. Yeah, yeah. like. Wah! I like getting cuddles mid solo. Oh, uh, we cuddle, don't we? we? I, I like do the brave rivals because if I don't do it, they'll release the photos. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a weirdo, Billy. <laughs> You know what I like, Chloe? What do you like, Billy? I like rewards. <laughs> Just like your Tesco Club card or your Sainsbury's Nectar Points. <laughs> People want rewards. If you help us out with this album, you can get rewarded with the album. Oh! But also... One of our amazing t-shirts! You can even get a masterclass with me on vocals, Donna on drums, or Ed on guitar. You could also be there when Chloe and Lindsay record their vocals. Oh. You could even have us do a private performance for you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you! you for supporting us! Be brave! Be brave, hashtag. Put hashtag your money where your mouth is and put the money in the... Have people given us the money yet? <laughs> Show me the money!